We're going back to the G20 now, our top story. And we're going to check in with CP24's G20 special correspondent, Craig Kilberger. Hi, Craig. How are you doing? We're here at Queen's Park at an Indigenous rights protest that's taking place. And I'm next to Janet, who is for the first time has ever taken part in a protest of this type in the city, but came here for a very personal reason. And she was telling me a little bit about what life is like in her community, Barrier Reef, which is about nine hours north of here, a community of 400 people. And can you share with me a little bit about what life is like, the, uh, the reasons you came here to protest? Uh, well, um, uh, my community is uh, Barrier Lake. It's, it's very, a very small community, like it's uh, 59 acres land. And um, uh, the reason why I came here is uh, I wanted to uh, um, with, uh, I came here with my group protest, protesting. So I wanted to... Um, uh, Janet, you were showing me how, as a mother, um, if you had the chance to sit and talk to Lorraine Harper as a mother to mother and mother to mother with the world leaders, what would you tell them? Well, like I was saying, uh, why, uh, why is the social services taking the, our kids away from the community? And uh, we're having problem with the, with the social services in the community, like uh, uh, they're taking kids away. The kid, the babies are are not even born yet. They're they're after the mother. So I just wanted to tell her that I would like to tell her that uh, every like uh, everybody likes their kids and her, their grandkids and all that. And Janet, you shared with me that you have your son, uh, you're here, and also protesting, um, you said, with your, your father, um, helping to carry his legacy and his memory. Uh, yeah, yeah my, my father was, uh, was a chief in my community for so many years, and then um, he, he was fighting for his uh, uh, tradition, uh, all that there, but uh, this is why I came here to uh, continue. Well, from um, one individual mother to mother, I hope that someone like Lorraine Harper would hear your message. And the protest rally that we see here with about 150 protesters will be continuing. They'll be leaving Queen's Park. They'll be marching down to the, uh, towards Bay, to University to Bay, and then looping back towards Allen Gardens, where in a couple hours there will be a, a rally where they hope upwards of four or 500 will join them, raising awareness on issues affecting communities, big and small alike, like Janet here on behalf of Barrier Lake, the nine-hour journey where she made to speak out on this issue of Indigenous rights. Thank you so much, Janet, and back to you. All right, Craig, thank you so much for that.